Hello and welcome back everyone to episode 14 of the Translated Fusion Minis. This video will be about tracking in Fusion. Pretty important. I already brought in some footage via this loader note and I know I don't want to track the whole clip. My first frame to track will be 900 and I jump there and this is how it looks. All right, let's bring in a tracker node. Add a tool, tracker, here it is. And now it already created the first tracking point. That's what you can see up here. Hovering over this edge, this blinking white dot can be grabbed and then you can replace the tracker or the tracking point anywhere in your scene. This is the point that I want to track. For the sake of this tutorial, I will only go with this one tracking point, but you maybe want to add more than you're welcome to do that right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine hundred tracking points or delete them if they do not work or whatever. Okay, my playhead is still positioned at frame 900, so I can simply click track forward from current time. This would be stop and reverse tracking, but I want to track forward. And I do not pause this video while it's calculating because it's relatively fast. Just to give you an idea, I am not sitting behind a supercomputer. This is a MacBook Air maybe two and a half years old. All right, render completed. Um, this info window pops up, rendered range. Um, how long did it take? We say okay. And now we can scrub through it to check if everything worked out fine. Nice, our first track is done, but what can we do with it? Um, I would like to add a text plus note to our scene. With my loader selected, I click on text plus and automatically it will be merged with this loader. Good, let's add some text now. I type in, what do I type in? Ah, schicke Schrift, which is German for um, fancy font, <laughs> okay. Now we need to link it to our tracking data. With the text plus node selected, I am adding a transform tool. In that transform tool, I can hover over center, right click on it, connect to tracker position. And bam. Let's click on play. Wow nicely sticking on there. It worked. That's how you can manage simple tracking operations right inside of Fusion. For more difficult tracking jobs, I would highly recommend working with external tracking data. Mocha, for example, can handle that pretty, pretty well. This episode is over now. I hope you liked it. If so, please give me a thumbs up or tell your friends or both. See you next time. Bye.